Season's greetings from Milwaukee's Supreme Independent Theater, The Boulevard Theater, now celebrating our 35th anniversary season. We wish all Milwaukeeans happy holidays. We welcome returning supporters and new friends to this, our first online event, entitled Naughty vs. Nice. Judging by the court of public and critical opinion, Boulevard's productions have consistently won acclaim and accolades. As we share photos from some of these recent shows, allow me to court your good graces by introducing our presentation. As the docket for this year testifies, 2020 has been quite the trial for everyone. Yet in a few weeks, 2020 adjourns and a new beginning is sworn in. For the record, we've witnessed national challenges, social unrest, and economic strife. Although current issues are serious, we must honor and sustain a healthy perspective and our sense of humor. Case in point, our lighthearted presentation may evidence a chuckle and may do comic justice to one of 2020's celebrated proceedings. Please enjoy Amy's Snow Job. Following our satirical hearing, please remain for our final verdict on the case for supporting Milwaukee's Boulevard Theater. The committee will now come to order in this confirmation hearing of Amy Baloney Parrott. I must start by saying that many of us are deeply troubled by this attempt to push through a confirmation so close to the holidays. The right thing to do is to wait until next year for a ruling. I am certain that I am joined by my colleagues Santa Lindsay and Santa Camilla in this regard. Nonetheless, we will proceed with the questioning, as is our duty. Ms. Parrott, as you know, climate change threatens our environment, our elves and reindeer's livelihood, and indeed the very existence of our winter way of life. Despite the vociferous chorus of naysayers who insist on discounting this threat, do you believe that climate change is a real thing? And how would you address it? Santa Claus, Lindsay, and Kamala, and all the other Santas of the committee, with all due respect, I cannot express a view on a matter of public debate. All I can say is that I would consider it fairly and not be influenced by political pressure, whether it comes from the equator or the poles. I see. Ms. Parrott, in the past, you have been very vocal about the importance, even primacy, of your faith. What exactly are your religious beliefs, and what assurances do we have that you won't impose your agenda on others? Yes, Santa Claus, I do have strong religious convictions, but they are private and I am not comfortable discussing them in this forum. However, I can assure you that I am quite capable of setting aside my personal beliefs when dealing with others. It's not the Fala law of Amy. All holidays matter. Ah, Santa Lindsay passed me a note with a question. Ms. Parrott, how would you feel about a totally made-up little boy from a totally made-up place, say, South Carolina, who, when he was eight years old, received Tonka trucks and a baseball glove for Christmas, when he had been good all year long, and specifically asked for an easy bake oven and the original cast recording of Gypsy. Would this little boy be right to sue his parents for breach of contract, and would you rule favorably for him? I'm sorry, Santa Lindsay, but I cannot opine on any hypothetical gifts that a hypothetical person might receive. Other than to say that, like Christmas gifts. Some things are best left hidden in the closet. Miss Parrot, you have evaded all our questioning. Is there anything you can tell us about your beliefs? Yes, Santa Claus. I believe in children, and I believe in loving them and sharing all this world's gifts with them. That is a simple belief that I hope we all can share. Very well, Ms. Parrott. I fear that we are polar opposites and will always likely have a frosty relationship. But for now, this committee has no choice but to confirm Amy Baloney Parrott as not naughty, which is not the same as nice, but close enough. So you win, Ms. Parrott. I guess it pays to have friends in high places. Just remember this, Ms. Parrott. I have you on my list, and I will be checking it more than twice to see how you behave in the coming year. So be good, for goodness sake. This hearing is adjourned. Please, someone tell me there's a reception somewhere. I'd give my left sleigh bell for a cookie. 
we genuinely hope you've enjoyed Boulevard's tongue-in-cheek fable, Amy's Snow Job, about reserving one's opinions in a crucial situation. While you enjoy more photos of Boulevard's recent smash hit stagings, let me sum up the case for your sustaining support for the Boulevard Theater and our 35th anniversary season. As the arts endure a most crucial catastrophic crucible of cross-economic calamity, I appear for the defense of a local independent theater in Milwaukee and offer a non-cross examination of Boulevard's achievements in even our 35th anniversary season. As chaotic as the past nine months have been, the evidence to find a Boulevard worthy of your support includes an incredibly unique voter information campaign entitled The Valentine Vote. This 90-day crusade to increase voter participation showcased a jury of local artists, authors, educators, and civic leaders sharing their own written affidavits urging Milwaukeeans to participate in the democratic process. This unheard of effort by a grassroots theater to showcase the voters' rights and responsibilities has never been attempted by any other local or larger arts organization. Our mammoth educational effort was met without objection by Boulevard's 5,000-plus list of friends and contacts from its social media dockets. And Boulevard maintains consistent communication with our valued contacts by sharing posts about all theatrical events in Milwaukee, including opportunities for free or discounted performances and updates about local social and community events. Also, Boulevard is workshopping a new comedy by a local female playwright that simultaneously satirizes and honors Milwaukee's colorful South Side roots. This exciting process resulted in a Zoom reading showcasing an eclectic mixture of accomplished local performers, novice actors, and even some members of the Boulevard's own board of directors. This wacky play will enjoy future collaborative revisions and creative input from both Boulevard's artistic director Mark Booker and a panel of respected theater professionals. And finally, the fact that Boulevard has succeeded in presenting dynamic, unique theatrical offerings for three and one half decades must be judged as proof positive that this cherished, spunky theater deserves community support and maintenance. Thank you for being nice and supporting Milwaukee's own Boulevard Theater. Happy holidays. Stay safe. Stay well.